Hey, Robert, how you doing, Mr. Schilling? Good, glad to hear it. You stare at me like that, you're gonna freak me out. I hope it's your computer being frozen and not some evil veiled death glare, so. Um, all right, well, happy middle of the, well, I guess it's our second fan club, so I don't need to do happy New Year's and all that kind of stuff too much, but good to, good to have everybody. Um, we're gonna focus in a couple of minutes on website uh, personalization, customization with your CB distinctive uh, website. Um, because I think that that's the next step for some of you in terms of becoming even better at what you do and more sophisticated and having a cleaner, cooler look out there. So we're gonna get to that in about three or four minutes. But first I wanna bore everyone with some statistics that I've gathered through IQO. You know, uh, Todd has really been talking to all of us about the, the great year that we had as a company in 2017. And um, it's all talk until you see numbers. And, and so I've gathered numbers and man, we had a great year. And I just wanna show you probably in about three or four minutes what our company growth looked like office by office. So you're sitting in Vail, you're like, I don't care about, about Steamboat, but you should because this, everything we do as, an, as individual offices feeds the bigger picture. And if the bigger picture is better, then all the other individual offices get better. So you see how it's, a, it's like a tango, it's a dance, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna share my screen here in a second. Um, and I hope you will be able to see what I put on there, which is gonna be uh, just a, an image basically of our production, okay? And so I can send this out so you don't need to take notes or whatever. And I'm just gonna walk through what, uh, what we're looking at. First of all, did, can everybody uh, see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see the, the graph. Okay, thanks, Eileen. I hope that doesn't mean something different in Grand Junction. Anyway, um, but office by office, alphabetically. So Bozeman only joined us in August, so we don't have uh, stats for 2016, but from August through the end of the year, they had 180 sales for $47 million in volume. Awesome. Cray, which is outside of Steamboat, um, small office, three or four agents there, but in 2016 at 37 sales, bumped it up to 40, 5.6 million in volume, great. Grand Junction, oh my God, holy mackerel. Keep in mind, sales means both things that we had listed and sold, as well as the buyer side that you may have brought to some other offices listing. But look at what Grand Junction did. 164 million. Uh, 953 sales in 2016, which is awesome, 194 million in volume, fantastic. This year, 2017, they bumped that up 37% for sales and 36% for volume. That is phenomenal work right there. 1,305 sales are attributed to our Grand Junction office. That's a ton of people being served by our agents and hopefully walking away from those experiences going, my God, that's a great office. Those are great agents. So great job, Grand Junction. Montrose, we're trying to get full year stats, but they joined us in October of 2016, so we didn't want to do a little comparison, but 2017, 284 sales for 50 million. Fantastic job, Alan. I know that number might not be quite right, Montrose, but it's fairly close. Just great work up there, down there, over there. Steamboat, rocking the socks off of Steamboat, 88 sales in 2016, up to 20 to 99 in 2017, and the volume is up 15% as well. So uh, Chuck and Robert and, and Dave and Daisha, all you folks in Steamboat, Lee, nice job there. Sun Valley did okay uh, in 2016, two sales for 48 million. And this year we had almost doubled our production and our sales, which feels awesome. Really happy about that. And all of these offices, of course, in 2018 are gonna be bigger than this, which is great. Vale, Elizabeth, you're gonna be so happy with this. Robert, uh, Chuck, Jennifer, all you, and Chris, all you folks in Vale, 45 sales in 2016, bumped it up to 57 and 41 million in volume, nice work. This is the craziest number in the whole group right here. So Tim, I know you're not on this. I know you, don't, you probably don't even know what fan club is, but Tim and you CBCPP folks, 108 sales in 2017. I've called people to say, is this a typo or whatever? And Teresa's looking at it like, I think it's right. 238% increase in, in commercial sales in Grand Junction, a 95% increase in volume. So great job to floor three. Nice work in there. Uh, and Steamboat, this is a one red number on our whole chart, I think. Um, but look at that, volume is up 61%. Now we're dealing with just a few hundred thousand dollars of uh, volume, but 
The point is that went up. Here are the company totals then, and I've done two boxes of this. One total, which does not include Bozeman or Montrose for 2016, so it's a little skewed. Overall though, over 2016, we are up 78% in the number of sales and 74% in volume as a company, 2016 to 2017. If those numbers don't make you feel pretty good about the company you're with and pretty good about the job you're doing, and pretty good about your MDs and your OMs and your support staff and your marketing team and your CEO and your COO, and I don't know what to tell you about how to feel good, but that stuff is fantastic. I did subtract the Bozeman and Montrose numbers out of 2017 just so it was a more apples to apples and we're still up 42% and 43% in sales and volume, even without our acquisitions of those two fine offices in Bozeman and Montrose. So no matter which way you slice this pizza, you're getting lots of cheese and pepperoni and the crust is awesome and the sauce is perfect. And again, I want all of us to have some uh, swagger about all of these numbers because they're fantastic. And it's not because you've got one um, you've got one agent or one team in an office doing awesome work. It's because everybody is putting the time in, is doing the coaching, is using the marketing packages, is using their OM, using each other to, uh, to bump their business and to bump the company's business. So fantastic job. And as I look at the people sitting on this, on this call, um, you know, I can speak to all of you as like, you've all done really good work in 2017. And as we uh, improve our game as a company, that's going to help you improve your game. What are your goals? Are they up 20%, 50 for 2018? We're going to see these numbers jump quite a bit when I do this in 2018, so at the end of 2018. So great work. Everybody should get a high five for that and make sure that you are um, talking about these numbers. I will send copies of this once I finalize just a couple of things to OMs and MDs. I don't think I need to send it to everybody, but you can always say, hey, can you send me that report? And if you give me some money, I probably will do that. So very, very, very nice job across the board. Um, Thank you for giving out praise, Derek. <laughs> you're welcome. High five right there. That's my palm. Hey, you know, praise can be faint and it can be dumb if it's not deserved, but you look at those numbers and like, you just got to be psyched. It's awesome stuff. Um, Mark in Bozeman, uh, nice to have you here. I know that uh, Bozeman is really, really protective of their MLS. It's like you have to have sacrificed children or something to get onto it, I think. But um, I would, I don't know if there's anyone in your office that can get me what 2016 looked like for Coal Bank or RCI. I don't know. But I'd love to, to see what those numbers look like in comparison to since we acquired you. Anyway. Good job. Now we're going to move on to the meat of the fan club, unless there are any comments besides Elizabeth's about what I just showed you. Anna, are you okay? <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> no, I was just, uh, okay. Here we go. Thank you for uh, participating in that. I'm going to share my screen again, and um, we're going to talk about some websites, personal, personalized websites. You all know, I hope, that um, you get your own, close all tabs, you get your own website with Colwell Banker. It's awesome. Um, your website, if you don't do anything with it, your website is essentially called mcorner.cbdistinctive.com. It's really clunky. So whatever your name is, it's your first initial of your first name and your last name, .cbdistinctive.com. If you're on the chairlift or on the trail and you try to tell someone your, your, um, your website, it's not going to stick. So the first thing I want to do is talk about making sure that you're thinking about getting your own domain name. Here's just a couple. Jeannie Keel joined us, I think, in August from another company that had blue in their, in their um, signage. And she was jkeel.cbdistinctive.com, whatever. So she went out and bought jeanniekeel.com. And now this is her website. It's still the Colwell Baker website, but it's got a much cooler name, much easier name. When she sees people, she's like, hey, go to my website, jeanniekeel.com. Oh, easy. Oh, here's another one. Get off of there. Here's another one then. Uh, Janine Bear. Janinebear.com. Super simple. It can just be your name. It can be uh, something with real estate in it. It, it can be something with, uh, you know, Grand Junction real estate. Uh, there are a lot of you that have personalized sites, and that's fantastic. So I want, I would love it, like, if, if two-thirds of our company had personalized domain <coughs> names. Well, how do you do that, Mr. Whatever your name is? You Derek, go to GoDaddy. Derek. Oh, Rick is confirming that my name is Mr. Derek. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Rick. Anyway, you go to GoDaddy, and if you're afraid of GoDaddy because they used to have commercials of people in bikinis, don't worry about it. This is the industry standard. 
in terms of how to secure a website name. So you come up with a few different names that you think would be catchy. Um, make sure you share it with a couple people so that they go, yeah, that's good, or no, that's not catchy at all, that's creepy. Um, you're, I'm happy to, to look at any of your options and say, these are the ones I think are best. Then you come in here and you type in what you want. So if I was an agent, I would do Derek sells real estate. And what I'm trying to do, and then I search, is this already taken? And uh, it is, well, it says, okay, your domain is available. See that? So there's one I could buy. So I could buy this, 99 cents, wow, that's great. This, these are prices per year. Um, I don't need premium, I don't need any of this fancy stuff. So basically, this is the best deal in the history of capitalism, is buying your own website domain name for dollars a year. It's amazing. Uh, a lot of people do a three-year contract. A lot of people do two or three different sites so that they secure them, even if they're not going to use them. At least no one else can buy them. So I add that to the cart. I purchase it. Then I send all of my information, my domain name, my login number, my account number, my, pass my password to, to me, Derek, uh, at coalbankersv.com. And then Lexi is the magician that gets this all to connect to your website. So... That's your you want to double check and make sure it's whether it's .com, .net. Yeah, you know, don't do not do .net or any .co or .biz, whatever. I think, I think we're a few years away from trusting that. And the biggest piece of real estate is trust. And if there's a .com, then you're legit. I think if you have something else, at least for the next year or so, you're still going to be looked at um, suspiciously. Like, is this a real business? So try to get the .com. Uh, that would be my advice. Okay. And again, if you have any questions about this and, and have ideas, like how about these, send them to me and, and we can bat them around a little bit and come up with what we think is the best, catchiest, easiest domain name. But Derek sells real estate is a lot better than me saying, yeah, my website is dsvenningson.cvdistinctive.com. Hello? Hello? Right? Like I'm going to lose every single person that I try to sell that to. You just lost me now. Uh, well, good. I, that's fine with me. Okay. <gasps> Um, there are a few of you I would like to lose. So that's GoDaddy.com. In the uh, in the wrap up video of this, when I send the recording, I'll put these links in here so that you don't have to remember GoDaddy because it even makes me feel a little bit dirty when I say it aloud. So I'm going to stop saying GoDaddy. Oh, shoot, I did it. Okay. All right. So that's GoDaddy. Oh, stop it. How easy was that? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Now we're going to talk about how to make your website look a little bit different than having some kid that you've never met before. Uh, and is almost picking his nose, and a mom and a dad with feet who are obviously wishing their kid would go outside so they could roam it. Like, that's the default website banner photo that you all get. It's fine. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. But what I want to tell you is that you have control over this. Okay? All right. So this is going to be over the head of a lot of you, and I'm okay with that because if you – if I tell you the, the eight steps about how to do this, if you get the first two or three, that's a good start. So don't feel like you have to know every single thing here, but I just want to give you a way to get into this. And if you have a weekend where your kids are gone and you're bored, mess around with this. Nothing happens until you click save. So you can mess around and, and try things all you want. Um, and, and it won't affect anything until you actually click save. How do I get to the point, Mr. Education, where I can edit my website? That's good. You go to your website. So Cody, do you have your own or is it imondi at uh, dot cd? Um, it's Cody sold it dot com. Yeah, that's it. Well it's not gonna come in handy, but um, I'll take a look at it anyway. Cody sold it. I forgot the it. Yeah I forgot the it. I'm always forgetting the it. CodySoldIt.com. That's great. So how easy is that? Hey, go to my website, CodySoldIt.com. It's awesome. It says that she's good at things, and her website is a CV distinctive website, but she's got a different design on it, and look at that. It, it, she can command this. She never has to touch it if she doesn't want to, but um, it, it all works. So let's see. Uh, Bob, do you have a personalized website, a customized no. domain name? I don't. Okay. So I think it's R. McHugh. Dot CB distinctive. So I just want to show 
what it's going to look like if you've never done anything to your site. Oh, look at that. Dude. Nice job, Bob. Hey, that rhymes. That's pretty good. Okay. At any rate, how do I get into my website to edit it? You, you go to your site, not to IQO, even this is, though this is an IQ function, but you go to your site and you go all the way down to the bottom and you go to this little thing right here that says IQ Web Login. This here would get you into your IQO, but we want to get into your web. So you go here, okay, and you're going to use your, your login information. And since I'm uh, an administrator, I can jump in on anyone's. So don't ever make me mad because I'll put weird pictures on your website. Cody? Okay. Oh, all of a sudden, no, never. Bob, don't worry. Don't you worry your pretty little self. I won't mess with anything. Okay. All of a sudden, you see all these things up here that are now editing tools. You're looking at the website. I like it because you're not dealing with funky code. You're not dealing with weird programs that you've never seen before. You're essentially looking at your site and able to say, oh, I want to edit this. So, oh, look, there's an edit button. Uh, all of these things up here are, are live and will help you. Maybe you want to change your search uh, widgets, or maybe you want to change these things, whatever. You can do all this stuff here. Okay, so here's where I think you start. IQ Web Editor, these five windows, these five drop downs here are where you should probably start. And I'm gonna start here with design. Bob has, cho has chosen design five. Now there are 20, look at this, there's like 27 designs that you can choose from. And if you're super bored and have a big bottle of wine, you can just take a look at all of these. Here's what it would look like, here are the features. You can even change your color scheme. I really encourage you to stay within this color scheme here from this blue over to the left. If you get over here, you start looking like other companies and that's not good. Um, oh, I wanna see design three, uh, design four. The default I think is design eight. Um, I think this is the one, if you never have touched your website, and Bob clearly has, this is your default, totally fine. Um, but this is where you can choose what you want your home page to look like and how, how it functions, okay? Uh, maybe this one here where you have a, a bigger photo and a search bar here, okay? So where did, you, where did I get that? That is in design, okay? I don't think you should touch advanced. Library is simply images and things that live in your library that you can use here. Uh, menus and pages, we'll get to that maybe in a little bit. At any rate, Let's say I like this design. Um, Bob, I'm gonna jump off yours because uh, yours is a little different, so no offense, Bob. Um, but I'm gonna jump to Jeannie's and I'm gonna log in on hers. Again, it's down here, IQ Web Login. And D. Svenningson. How'd that work? D.S. Hello? I think the, the 12 inches of snow has messed with our systems here. That's awesome. Hang on, hang on, Sloopy. We'll be good in a second. Okay, I'm gonna log into Genies. And uh, again, it's gonna populate as an editable website. Nope, never, okay. So if this is where you start, I'm, that's why I'm coming to this one, Bob, because this is the default, so it'll look more familiar, okay? All right, I wanna change this picture. I'm gonna use this design, but I wanna change the picture because I don't like the kid um, staring at me like I um, just dropped my, my food. So I click edit, okay? There are five slides that this could go through. Um, and so I wanna change this photo. And I wanna use a photo that, um, that I've taken because it's more Sun Valley. It doesn't live here in my images, or I could look in realistic Images. There's like a thousand images in here you could use. So if you don't want to use any of your photos and you just want to use something stock, totally fine. Go to that button there, realistic IQ. Can someone mute themselves, please? I don't know who that might be, but um, and maybe I want to do landscape. Maybe I want to find something in here. So I, I can use any of these. Maybe it's fall and I want to use this. Uh, you know, these scenes are awesome. This one would be very useful for our mountain offices. Um, I don't advise you to use something that is clearly not of our region. 
because that just looks funky, but most of these look pretty mountainous, okay? But let's say I, I had an image that I really liked that I wanted to put on as my, uh, as my head homepage banner. So I'm gonna upload an image, right? I'm gonna click that and just like any other upload function, it says, okay, where do you wanna find this image? And I'm gonna come into my folder, um, Oh, bye, Eileen. Um, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose maybe, maybe I'm trying to attract horse buyers. So I'm going to choose that image and I'm going to open it. And that's how it gets uploaded. And it'll take a second. It's a bigger photo. You want to use higher res photos here, I think, because um, they look better. Hopefully this isn't going to take too long. Did it not do it? Okay, hold on. Hold on. There it's doing. Processing. Okay, so now it's going to show me what this is going to look like in just a second. Sorry about the delays here, folks. Again, the snow in some Valley is shutting some things down a little bit. Um, notice here it says video. If you were sophisticated enough to have a video, you could use a video on your homepage. I think Valerie does that. Uh, in Montrose, Lisa, can you confirm that? And it's okay if you can't, but um, you could put video here, which is, of course, the next step. I don't know why it's not loading. Um, but there are six, five slides here. Six slides here. And so you can just show one if you'd like, um, or you can have the, the slideshow happen and all six of the images show, okay? Um, so, there it is. I want to select that one. That one's going to be slide six. Um, I can choose whether I want it to show or not down here. If I only want to have one image and not a slideshow, I just click no on these others. What I'd like to do is get this, I see what's happened. So I'm going to select this as my, as my uh, lead photo. Now, photo one has to show, slide one has to show. That's why it says, would you like to display a caption? No, I don't need a caption. I just want the image, okay? Um, none of this, this stuff is all pretty well set, so I don't think you should mess with any of these, but this is just a way to do images. I'm going to do one more. Um, I'm going to change this just so you can see the functionality of it. I have to upload, and I know this might take a second, but we're okay. I've got a horse, and now I want, um, now I want uh, people walking on a bridge, okay? So I open that, give it a second to upload. Sorry, not the smartest thing in the world to do. Um, and then that's going to be my second image. So at the very least, I've turned the stock photography into something that is more about my area and is going to, I hope, be a little bit more um, local when someone goes to my site. Again, there's nothing wrong with the stock photography, but if you have images, so here I am on slide two. Do I want to show it? Yes. And I want to change the horse photo to the one I just put in there, which is this one. Uh, don't use vertical photos in these because they'll look weird. So make sure you're using horizontal images if you're uploading your own stuff. Okay. Show yes. Would you like to display a caption? No. Then I'm going to go here and make sure that slide three is not showing. Good. Slide four is not showing. Slide five, no. Slide six, no. And always, 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 IQO, always come down to the bottom right. I know it's inconvenient. And click save or OK. All right? OK. Now, this is my new banner page for Jeannie Keel. Whoops. Jeannie, I hope you're happy with this photo because it's sticking. Ah. All right. Is it better than the kid? Maybe, maybe not. This is all personal preference. But all I'm saying is that you have the ability to really easily if you think that was easy, really easily change the appearance of your site, okay? I'm not gonna get too lost in the weeds here. Um, I, I might save this part up here for another time. All I wanna tell you is that if you wanna add drop downs like testimonials or like sold listings or like um, you know blog posts or whatever, you can do that. You just click here and this is where it gets a little complicated, too complicated for this fan club, but between Alexi, your OM, and me, sorry OMs, we can help you add drop downs to this as you see fit. Maybe you want to have uh, your, your videos that you've done 
easily accessed right here, accessed right here. So that's how you would do that. So you can edit this. Obviously you can edit your phone number. If that's not right, make sure that's right. It better be. Um, but where I want to go next is down here because I don't really like this. If I'm a consumer and I come to this person's website and they have obviously stock photography, not a big deal, but if there's two of the same photos for two different things, that makes me wonder, what are you paying attention to agent? Why wouldn't this be more about you? And you know what? This looks like Ohio. Hmm. So how do I change these photos? You know what? It's the same thing. I edit, I click that edit button, panel one, panel two, panel three, panel four. And it tells all of what they are and all of these things know where to go once you click on that, okay? So you don't need to worry, what does my portal even mean? Finding a home means it's gonna take you to a search engine, okay? Panel two, selling a home is gonna take you to uh, a place where you can fill in your information. About me is gonna take you, uh, sorry, find your office, will take you to this. These things all work, trust me on that. All right, but I don't want this um, family here. I wanna change this photo. Um, Oh, and I can also decide how many panels I want to display down here. Maybe I want to up it to six because I want to add a couple things. Maybe I want to reduce it to just one or two so I can change all those. I'm going to leave it at four right now. Finding a home. I want to change that photo. And again, let's not upload one. Let's come to realistic and let's find um, exterior. That's probably home. So instead of a family sitting there signing something, something which is nice, let's find a, a home that might be more attractive. There aren't a lot of mountain homes. These all look like suburban, Midwest suburbia and coastal stuff. But uh, you know what? I like colors. So I'm going to choose, um, maybe I'm going to. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. Finding a home. Because there's homes here. And look, there's a real estate sign there. Okay. All right. Panel two. This one is selling a home. That's okay. You know, that's not me. I, maybe I want to get a photo. Someone take a photo of me at an open house selling a home and I put that there. Okay. Panel three, find your office. This one I am going to change because I don't want the same image. I'll go to realistic images and I'll go to real estate. Uh, find an office. You know, it depends on, I don't know. Some people care more about images than others. I'll select this one. Okay. And then the last one is uh, about me, view my profile. Why wouldn't I put a photo of me in there? So I will go ahead and upload an image. I don't think I have any of me here, but something about me. Uh, let's pretend that, um, let's pretend for a minute that I am, uh, this is me. It's my son actually, but um, we'll do that. Give it a second. While we're waiting for this to upload, are there any questions that I've glossed over or I've lost anyone here? All of it. Rick's day. got all of it. He's taking copious notes. Every single day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Do our offices have uh, our, uh, their own stock photography, if you will? Uh, sort maybe, but you'd have to upload it. The stock photography is all IQO images, so all images professionally. Whoa, that's upside down. That's really cool. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to put it in there anyway. And Jeannie, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, um, don't worry, I'll fix all this. Um, for whatever reason, that uploaded upside down. Um, so really cool. <laughs> but that would be about me. And hey, it's a photo about me. Let's pretend this is me and not my son. And to me, that's more attractive than some stock photo uh, that doesn't say anything about me. Robert, to answer your question a little bit more thoroughly, all the stock images I'm showing you right now, um, are these are all realistic images if you wanted to have some stock photos of Vail or of Montrose or wherever um, I would say email them to me and I will put them in as you <laughs> if that makes sense like I don't I don't really want agents to feel like they have to get lost in files and images and whatever so and I know there's not going to be a bombardment of this so if you have images you want in your website email them to me and then you'll be able to access them, okay? What I was wondering is if maybe the, the Vail office has some good images of the Vail Valley that we could use in our websites and stuff like that. Yes, and there are images that live in each office. Um, and so 
give me a couple days to see if I can get OMs to, to collate those and we can get them put somewhere that's easily to easy to access, Robert. It's a great question. So um, these are all different areas. I'm wondering, I haven't looked at this, if we're in here, where are we, Colorado? No, I don't see anything. So uh, I wouldn't worry about the areas. Um, but like this could fit for Colorado. If you like to hike, if you dig Alpine Lakes, use that for your about me, okay? Okay, so I go back to my images. I'm going to, I'm not going to save any of that because of um, sort of funky. So I'm going to cancel. Okay, so those will go back to the way they were. Um, this edit button here allows me to uh, change some things up. This gets a little complicated. I wouldn't do this without maybe your OM looking over your shoulder or doing a Zoom conference with me because you can start pushing buttons and end up getting some weird uh, results and you don't want to do that. Hey, over there, cancel. But just know that all of these things, even this is, don't, don't edit this. I know if you're in Bozeman and it's talking about Vail, but this is all lawyer talk and we really can't edit this. Um, so sorry about that. Um, you can edit, I'm going to show you one thing that we could do on your design. Okay, remember if you want to change your template. I really don't like not being able to see people's faces because I'm like a, a face person. I'm like facial recognition. I have no idea if people are like flipping me off right now or what. So I'm just going to go on the faith that you all are at least uh, somewhat enjoying this. I'm going to go to design nine because it has some different features. Okay, use this design. Someone's going to ask, are the photos going to stay? And I'm not sure, so we're going to find out in a second. Nope, I'd have to reload it. But that photo already lives now in my IQO, so I don't have to upload again. So it would be very simple to change, um, to change this photo. Where'd the edit button go? All right. Edit page. For some reason, it said you're done editing. So I go here. I want to get that horse photo again. Change. Loading image library. You all get the drift on this one here. Okay. And I don't want to display any of the other sides. They all say no, that's good. Okay. But here's what I want to show you about this. You can choose a design that gives you these buttons underneath, which are really cool. They're all linked already, but you can add new ones. Like if you had a, a uh, some sort of button, like your YouTube channel maybe, um, you wanted it here, or if you had some other cool thing that you want to put here right in front of people's eyes, you could do that. So I'm going to click this edit screen here. And it goes icon by icon. You can choose, five, there's six icons here. You could say, no, I only want four. So on icon five, I would say no. And then all of a sudden that one's not going to display. Icon six, obviously I wouldn't display either. Um, but icon one is open houses. So this goes to any open houses that are available. Icon two, new listings, there's a flag. What if I wanted to change that though? I, I've got all these things. Maybe I wanna use a bell, like ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, I got a new listing, it even rhymes, okay? Um, if I wanted to change where this bell goes, I would go here. I don't want it to go to new listings. I would want it to go to, um, oh, I'm getting in the weeds here. I'd want it to go to maybe um, new farm, farm and ranch. If I click that, the IQO is going to know, oh, okay, that button takes the person to farm and ranch listings, okay? Not going to do that right now, but you have a lot of control over these things. Change icon, uh, new listing, you could use a bullhorn, um, lots and lots of icons in here. Probably don't use a uh, uh, sad face, <laughs> that would be awful. Um, okay, next one, next icon. Is a key for luxury properties. You wanted something a little bit different. You know, knock yourself out. Oh, here, if you wanted to have your YouTube channel, let's do that. Okay, change icon, and I'm going to, um, then I would go here, and I would put in a new URL. So it would go to my YouTube channel. So if you're tr trying to promote your videos of yourself and your listings, put this on one of your icons. Okay. That's how you can change all of that stuff. Maybe you like this design, but you don't like these icons. You can just say hide, and that whole, that whole bar goes away, okay? 
Yes, I want to hide the icon section. Okay, so it won't show. Property watch. Um, now I've got six of these things, and again, I can edit, so on and so forth. Um, this is important for some folks. Are you a member of USAA? You can have that on there. You can hide this. If you don't want featured listings, hide it. If you come down here to communities. What does this do? If you go here to the edit, so in, in Sun Valley, we have really three or four towns that make up Sun Valley. Ketchum is the town. Haley's where all the government stuff is. Sun Valley is the Shishi Resort um, where you have to wear fur, right? Yeah, yeah. To, to go there. I've got my fur underwear on right now. Yes, um, we all do. I've got my flannel line pants on today. But these are kind of hardwired. Uh, this is not Ketchum. You'd be surprised to know that this is not a small resort town in Idaho. So I'm going to change this. And let's say, let's hope I can upload an image and have it uh, go the right way. Here's Ketchum right here. So I'm going to upload that, give it a sec. You all are being so patient or you've all left the building. I don't even know. Um, but this is being recorded for posterity, a word I hate saying. Anyway, we're almost there. Okay. And it should have loaded. Okay, it's a big photo, so it might look funky, and if it does, I'll cancel it. But here's an aerial shot of Baldy in the summertime. Here's Ketchum here. Here's Sun Valley. Oh, here's my crop thing. So I'm going to move this around, and I'm talking about Ketchum, which truly is right there. This is Ketchum here. Here's a golf course. Here's some roads. Oh, okay, I'm done with the lesson. Okay, so uh, if I wanted to focus on Sun Valley, I could move my thing over here because this little area where all the fur is is Sun Valley. Don't look for the fur, that's just a joke. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move this a little bit more. Cool, okay. So some of these frames are built for horizontal, some are built for squares, and it's got this nice crop function that allows you to, to do this. So uh, now that that is in there, I'm gonna change this. There we go. Oops. Selected. Sorry, I pushed a button inadvertently, and now, no, go away. Go away. Yeah, okay, so now I'm good. Catch them, field a city, list. Uh, you're going to ask me, what does list mean? Uh, no. Oh, because it's catch them here. Okay, so now I'm going to say okay. So my featured areas, now look, that's pretty cool. I would change these as well. Uh, again, if you don't have photos of the place you're talking about, at least don't have Atlanta <laughs> or whatever town this is, Charlotte. This looks like a southeastern town that's trying to make a name for itself that never will because it has no heart and soul. Oh, sorry. Um, and when you click on these things, essentially, and the nice thing is, is you're editing, you've got a live site. You can always see what's happening, which is cool. This goes to my Ketchum MLS from highest to lowest. Look at this. There's a $16 million. This is Steve Miller's home, by the way. You know, fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Something about my spirit, and I have to go pee. I don't know. Whatever. Um, this is a nice listing north of town. So, okay. So it's all ketchup. Cool. And I want to go back, and I want to see what the Haley or the Sun Valley. So this is really cool. I like this design better than the default one because it's got just more stuff for me to do as a consumer. So I would probably be picking this design if, uh, if it came down to that. So here in Sun Valley, we have more land, less trees, <laughs> uh, more fur and, and uh, bigger spread. So um, that's all that. All right. Here I am. And let's say I like everything I've done. Let's make sure uh, I I've edited some things. This didn't save for some reason. Oh, I went back. So I have to go to edit page and I didn't save that, which is fine because this isn't my site. But just make sure you're saving things. Here's the thing when you're doing website editing, when you're doing anything on the computer, you all know this. Expect some frustration. If you expect to go in and do this for the first time and have it look like roses, you're, you're not going to get it done. OMs and I and MD spend almost all day at computers and we're frustrated by things, but it's just a matter of a little bit of fluency, a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of patience, a little bit of creativity. But if you don't feel like you have that, this is probably the wrong thing for you to be focused on. And maybe we can spend a half hour working on some things or whatever, but I don't want anyone to get lost in the weeds and be like, oh my God, forget it. I don't even, I don't even want to be an agent anymore. 
this should be some spare time stuff, some uh, extra eyes on, on things before you save anything so that you can present yourself in the most uh, professional way. I'm gonna go back and change it back to the design she had, but I like design nine. That's just me. But I'm gonna go back to design eight. I think, yes, quick. Okay, this is where she was. And I'm gonna um, leave it at that. Didn't give me a save option. All right, I'll fix this later. Anyway, that's about 101 and 201 of website editing. Again, the next step would be to change these if you wanted to have blogs or testimonials or uh, local news, local weather, whatever. You can put those things up there and we can have it linked to certain sites. If you have standalone sites out there, just single page landing sites where you have stuff that happens and you want to put them on there, we can do that. You can't, unless you're really good at this, but we can figure it out for you, okay? Um, let's look at Valerie's. Lisa, do you know, is it team? Yeah. Can someone tell me why they put a hex on my keyboard? Team? Uh, team yeah, Valerie? Yeah. I don't know if Valerie has a video or not. She's not here. Because she's out making a video. She is. She had 53 sales last year. I couldn't even believe it. That's amazing. Team Valerie Myers. Okay. She's got some uh, sophistication here. Look at her thing. Sell my property. So if I was a seller, uh, there's my home valuation. There's a, I want to list with Valerie. These are all cues to say do something. Okay, she's got different things floating in here. She's bought these photos, it looks like. Um, we've tried doing some text on photos, but because of the different way screens read things, it doesn't usually come out very well. So I would recommend against having your name uh, implanted on a photo because I haven't seen it work very well. What's my home worth? There it is again. Get pre-qualified now. Awesome, because this is a big part of your real estate world is getting people qualified. My portal, uh, not much there for sale. And see what's going on. Concierge, what does that even mean? Well, good question. Now we're looking and all these things. So she's got mortgage lenders, home inspectors, utilities, insurance, client giveaway, lots of stuff about me, my info, contact me, testimonials, broker to broker, my map of solds. Let's look at that. That's pretty cool. My map of solds. Oh, and here's her blog, um, which she does a great job of. Okay. So this is something you can do in Google. Look, this is really crowded. Is it pretty? No, but what is it doing? If I look at this as a client, I'm like, dang, girl, that's some business. You sold all this stuff here? What are these things? And you can click on all these things. This is fantastic stuff. We have an agent in our office who's just done this and is sending it out as a mailer, a map with the places that they sold in, in 2017. It's crowded. Awesome. Don and Irene, man, look what we did in our first year. Put the 12 things on the, on the Grand Junction map and send that action out. People want to work with successful people. All right, um, here are all of her links. You can put as many of these as you want up there. Let's see if, uh, let's see where that edit is. No, I'm sorry. Um, she doesn't have any up here, so, uh, but you can put those up there. If you look at that, this is all the ways to get, here's her YouTube channel, here's her Google Plus and LinkedIn and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Awesome job. Valerie's really at the, she's in the top 10% in terms of making sure all of her stuff is, is sophisticated and, and ahead of the curve. And when I say Valerie, I also mean Stephanie and Sarah who do a lot of the good work there too. So, all right, um, let's see. Stop my share for a minute probably for a long, long time. Okay, I only lost a couple people, excellent. Um, here's my swagger today, and uh, it's backwards, sorry, but uh, that's how I'm feeling, global luxury today. That was a lot of stuff, okay, and I understand that. And, and again, this, this isn't your job per se, your job is to be on the phone, your job is to be knocking on doors, talking to people, telling people about all the great work you do. But in your downtime, when things are a little slow, when it's a little fallow, when you just don't have that edge, Go into your website, see if you can uh, up your game there a little bit because, as you know, 93% of people start their searches online. And if your first impression is just like everybody else's online, 
that's not much of a first impression. That's just an impression and it's not gonna go very far. So what I've tried to do is give you some simple, the simplest ways to personalize your website, starting with a domain name that's catchy, easy, moving into getting some photography on there and a design that you like and that works for you and that shows uh, the things that are important to you. Maybe those icons, maybe the city uh, regions, like in Vail, you've got Avon, you've got Eagle, you've got, uh, you know, Led, like whatever, Mintern, I don't know. But if you're specializing in some areas, you can get those things to show up and focus more on those areas. Uh, Bozeman, same thing. You know, you got Three Forks and Whitehall and Broadus and Belgrade and um, everything else under the sun. Big Sky, everything starts with a B. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Elizabeth, I'm almost losing you. And I know when I'm losing Elizabeth that I've really lost the crowd because she's usually very attentive. And there's Robert again. Look at Robert was an extra in The Godfather. Did you guys know that? He was in The Godfather in that very room with that office of books behind him. So we uh, just watched that yesterday. <laughs> which, one do you, which one do you like? Like all up there. See that yeah. little? She's making sure you're doing your job. Oh, good. Well, I hope her eyes are closed. But. Um, Anyway, just make offers that they can't refuse. That's the, that's the ticket from the Godfather. Make offers they can't refuse, right? Um, okay, questions, uh, thoughts, just uh, criticisms. This was ridiculous. I'll never do this. I get it. But w what can I do for you in the last couple minutes? Hey, question for you, Derek. Yeah. Uh, seems like I had read in one of the training videos that to add that little blog tab up top, that's something Alexi needs to add. Right. So blogs, blogs have to be turned on by us. And I'll tell you why, because we can't just have everybody put like these websites are all company webs. They're the company, right? So we can't just have people putting blogs up without us saying, Oh, okay. We, we think you're going to do a good job. So we turn that on all you have to do. And, and when we went over blogs a few weeks ago, Adam Greenberg from your office, Mark, he's like, sign me up. And he was, he was good to go in, in just a couple hours. If you have a blog that either you're writing or um, Business Ignite is doing for you, or if you're copying and pasting stuff, just let us know and we'll set it up and we get that button on the top for you. Then you can use it in your Facebook. You can send it out. I, I think blogs or vlogs, video logs, is where people should be. Rick here is sitting right here. He's doing some videos here outside of his comfort zone, but the dude is the natural. And right now he's just posting them to Facebook and boosting them. But um, like we were at his open house the other day and a beautiful new Chihuahua penthouse, Chihuahua, whatever. We did a 45 second video about how great it was and posted it on his Facebook, but that could be a vlog too, Mark, that would go mm -hmm. right on there. The more content you generate, the higher you go in the SEO, the more likely people are gonna stumble across your <laughs> site, okay? It's also good for listings. It's good for sellers. It's good for people to know that you're out there doing stuff. It doesn't have to be professional. Do Facebook Live. Do selfie videos of you just saying, hey, here I am in the middle of Vail. It snowed. Look at how gorgeous it is. Why aren't you here? We've got condos for sale. Now is the time. Bam. Boost it and send it to Seattle or L.A. or wherever people that um, decide to go to Vail are coming from. Boost it. Huh? New York. New York. And see what happens. It's simple, and the boosting, it's 35 bucks to do it for a week or whatever. I'm getting way off track here, but all I'm trying to say is personalization, customization, authenticity, you, 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 under our umbrella or above our trampoline, whichever way you want to think about it, is gonna get you more action. That's what I think. <coughs> yeah, I know it. All right, Jennifer. Our awesome OM back here. Is there anything that uh, we need to cover in the last couple minutes about this topic? Elizabeth, Lisa, Shawnee, Margaret. No, I'm good. no, you did a great job. Thanks. Oh yeah, right. Whatever. Thanks, Lisa. You're awesome. <laughs> I can always count on Thanks. Lisa for a compliment. I'm like some of the other OMs. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank you, Derek. But um, so just to confirm. Um, uh, an agent would kind of give me what they have existing as far as it does look like you're looking just at me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's better. <laughs> they would give me their existing domain name and I would turn all that info into uh, Alexi. Sure. Send it to your OM, send it to me. 
at any rate, Lexi is the only one smart enough to do it. I've tried it and all I do is mess things up. Um, so I send it to Alexi and she does that stuff. And then within a day or two, the domain name you bought points to your CV distinctive website. Robert, you need to, you don't have one yet, do you? Yeah, it's Rob from Vale. That's your website or your email? Yeah. Okay, good. It should be. Uh, you don't like that one? No, I like it. I didn't know that was your website. I thought that was just your email. Nope, same thing. Rob from Excellent. Vale, email and website. Great. This should be a no-brainer. That piece should be a no-brainer in my mind. McHugh sells for you. That's what I would do for you, Bob. All right? <laughs> Corner agent. Like, man, come on, let's go. You're driving me to drink. It's time to go. That would be a horrible domain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, thanks so much. Have a great week. We'll see you next week with, uh, I think we're going to be talking to Shawnee. So get ready there, lovely Ms. Carver. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we care. are. Thanks great for work. Up, yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.